Greetings all. Today we're going to look at how multiple delays can be stacked together to create awesome ambient guitar textures. Let's get right down to it. Okay, let's run down the arsenal real quick of the components I'm going to use to create these awesome ambient delay soundscapes. First up, we've got the 11 rack amp modeling unit, and I've taken the effects send and run it into a Morley little alligator volume pedal. From the Morley, I'm running into a Yamaha UD Stomp, an interesting device that's no longer made. It contains eight discrete delays that can be combined either in serial or in parallel. It also includes the ability to modulate each delay and apply low cut and high cut filters to each delay. Pretty cool. So that's eight discrete delays. From the stereo out of the Yamaha, of the UD Stomp, sorry about that, I'm running into my Ditto Looper X2. From there, I'm running stereo outs into the TC Electronic Flashback Triple Delay. Three discrete delays that can be combined in serial or in parallel. Uh, for more information, check out my other videos on this delay. Pretty cool. From the triple delay, I'm running out into a Strymon Timeline, pretty familiar device probably. And from there, I'm running back into the effects send in stereo to the Avid 11 rack. So I'm, what I'm going to do is build this ambient bed of delays by creating a basic soundscape with the UD Stomp and then sweetening and enhancing it with the triple delay and the timeline. So let's check out the preset on the UD Stomp. By the way, I've, inclu I've included in the show notes a link to the uh, UD Stomp patch list. So even if you don't have a UD Stomp, if you can get your hands on eight delays, <laughs> you can recreate the basic patch by looking at the uh, milliseconds of delay and things like that. All right, so the patch I'm going to use is 221 off the UD Stomp. It is a, uh, a patch that's designed to be used with a volume pedal for volume pedal swells. And it contains delays from 30, 40 milliseconds up to 5 to 600 milliseconds. And there's a lot of panning going on and um, some modulation. It's a pretty cool sounding patch. Let me play it for you. All right, pretty nice. You may have noticed, however, that the, uh, the tail is fairly short. It dies out. I'd like, so, I'd like to take this basic sound and I'd like to make it um, extend out in terms of the, the decay time. So I'm going to use the uh, TC Electronic triple delay to, to get me there. Let me bypass the UD Stomp. By the way, this is my clean sound. And let's listen to what is set up on the triple delay. First, I've got a uh, fairly, uh, fairly standard sounding delay on one. So that's probably, what, about 700 milliseconds, give or take. I've got a longer delay on two. So maybe a second and a half. And then the third delay is a slap back or a slap delay. So let's put them all together. All right, we have a nice tail going on on that delay. Let's go ahead and add the UD Stomp in. Actually, no, let's not do that yet. Keep it for the, uh, for the end. Let me turn off these delays and let's turn our attention to the Strymon timeline. Basically on this, what I wanna do is sweeten the entire sound with the ice delay type or delay model on the timeline. And I've got it set to delay back at about 980 milliseconds and I'm using an octave interval. So as the delay occurs, it's going to be iterating between the, the pitch of the, uh, the, the note that's played and an octave above. So let me let you hear that. All right, you can kind of hear that in the background. I've got the mix uh, set fairly low because I don't want this to stick out too much but I do want it to sweeten the overall sound. So what I'm gonna do is put 
all of these delays together. That's 12 delays. And let's hear what it sounds like. Let me uh, lean down here a little faster that way. And let me turn on the UD stomp and check this out. Isn't that nice? A really nice long decay. And underneath of it all, you can hear that little sweetening from the timeline of the octave going on uh, in the overall sound. I really like it a lot. There's a lot of potential applications with this basic setup. So what I'm going to do is leave the timeline and the triple delay set as they are. And let's try one other, let's try another preset on the UD stomp. This preset is more of a standard, standard chorus. There is some delay, but we're using all eight delay lines to create a chorus effect. So let me, uh, let me go ahead and play this a little bit. Also pretty cool. I really like the UD Stomp's capability of creating chorus effects by using delay lines. You can do the same thing with other devices too. This is not unique to the UD Stomp. You just need the ability to um, take multiple modulating delays and run them in parallel along with your dry signal. One more preset that's interesting that I'd just like to run by you. Oh, by the way, that was preset 011 on the UD Stomp if you are uh, interested in looking it up on the patch list. One other preset I'd like to review just briefly that is really interesting when, you, when it's combined with the triple delay and the timeline is this one. It's uh, preset 811. All right, check this one out. Uh, that's pretty cool too. I like that one a lot. This preset is, um, again, uses all eight of the, the delay lines from the UD Stomp, and there's no direct signal. It's only delay uh, signal in the overall mix coming from the UD Stomp. Each of the delays are heavily modulated. Several of them are low cut, so a lot of the lows are taken out. And um, I don't know, it's pretty interesting to play around with. This is one patch that I'm personally playing around with modifying to, uh, to use in some songs that I'm working on now. Anyhow, that's a quick look at just some of the things that you can do when you take multiple delays and put them together. Now, maybe you don't have a Yamaha UD Stomp. There's not many around. Um, you can, I'll, I'll give you a couple of suggestions. If you can get your hands on a Yamaha Magic Stomp and load it with um, the Allen Holdsworth presets and some of the other presets that are around on the internet, you can, uh, you can create much of the same dynamic that I just demoed for you. If you don't have either one, um, actually, if you get, a, it's kind of probably costs a little bit of money, but if you get a couple of the triple delays and gang them together, you can easily get six to nine delays all together and have the capability of running them in, par in uh, groups of parallel or series. It's not going to be exactly like the UD Stomp, but man, I'd love to try it out because I'm sure that there would be some really interesting soundscapes that you could create from them. So there you have it, some interesting ways to use one dozen delays together to create different types of sounds. And as always, I'll see you all 
on the next video.